today we're going to cover adding a database counter in ArcGIS Monitor. You can follow along in the adding a DB tutorial in the ArcGIS Monitor help. We'll start by ensuring that the ODBC drivers are installed on the target machine. You can do this by typing ODBC and going to the 64-bit data source and then selecting the drivers tab. Ensure that the desired driver is installed for your target database. In this example, the SQL Server driver is already installed. Next, I'll select the System DSN tab and add a new System DSN. I'll select the desired driver and enter a description name. In this case, it's going to be Prod3. The description can be the same as the name. And next, I have to enter the server that I'm going to be connecting to. So I will copy and paste that in, and go Next. Now I have an option between connecting with Windows Authentication or SQL Server Database Authentication. To determine which one is appropriate for your database, you should check the database connection properties and connection mode, uh, which connection is appropriate. In my example, I'm going to be using SQL Server Authentication with a test user to connect to the database. I will enter my username and password and click Next. Here I can just go with the default items and click Finish and I will test that my connection to the database was successful with this ODBC connection. Click OK. Now I need to build a connection string using this system DSN. There's examples in the tutorial on what the appropriate connection string would be. And I will just put an example in here for you. So based on our DSN, this will be our connection string with the username test and password test using DB authentication. Now I'm ready to go into ArcGIS Monitor, select the DB counter type, right click and select add. I'll select the new DB item and I will give it an appropriate name. In this example, it's going to be prod3 load count and I need to add a credential. To keep track of my credentials, I will use a descriptive name that matches the name of the counter, and then paste in the connection string that we had before, and click the Add button. Notice this credential is now available for me to select. That matches my counter name. Next, we'll select a sample interval. We recommend for DB counters to use the five-minute sample interval. And optionally, I can put in a description in to help me keep track of the counter name. Next, I need to add a query name. And in this case, it's going to be called load count. And the next step is to enter the SQL Server query. I'm going to be putting in a query that I've already tested in Management Studio, and I know that the result of this query is a single numeric value that can be charted over time. I will click the Add Query button, and when I click the Test button, it will proceed to make the ODBC connection to the database and execute the SQL query. Notice that a single numeric value was returned successfully, and so now I can click the Save button, and it will collect information on that query value every five minutes. Next, we'll log into the ArcGIS Monitor web page and go to the Categories Database Report. Here we can expand the database counter type and look at charts and statistics over different time periods. Thanks for watching.